All right, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you Bloop. So Bloop is a code search engine that uses GPT-4 to answer questions about your code. So the way that it works is you can link up a local repo or a GitHub repo. Now these have to be within your repository. So for instance, if you want to look and have a conversation with someone else's repo, you'll first have to fork it and actually have it uh, either locally or uh, linked in your GitHub repository. Now, once you have it, uh, you'll be able to see the repo here. And sort of interesting timing with uh, making this video is the Twitter algorithm was just released. So I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at the algorithm. So I forked a copy of it. Uh, it's within my GitHub repository now. And now once uh, you install Bloop, and I can show you where to, to do this, if you just read through their they're getting started here. If you go to download the app, um, there's a way you can do it through the command line as well if you'd like to go that route. And you, if you just look at the uh, system that you're on, so I have an Intel-based Mac, and if you just search that on this page here, you'll see that there's um, the version that correlates to it just, um, just below there. So once you have that installed, you'll simply have to link your GitHub repo or look at it, look at the repo locally, like you see here. And then once you have that, you have the option of searching the repo with regex or natural language. So I'm gonna mainly focus on showing you the natural language functionality. And like I mentioned, so the Twitter algorithm, a lot of people have a lot of questions about how it works or, uh, you know, particular, you know, interesting tidbits uh, here and there about uh, how a major social media platform uh, ranks and orders things. So if we had particular questions about this now, one approach could be people could read the source code as many have. I've seen lots of threads on uh, people looking through about how it's interesting, you know, the, the weighting of how they're uh, weighting, you know, retweets versus likes versus all a host of things. Um, but this is sort of a different approach on how you can look at it. So considering how popular, you know, GPT-4 and ChatGPT is, this is an interesting way to explore something like this. So if I just go here and you can, let's start off with a simple question. So what does this repo do? Now, if you just query it like this, it's going to have a similar interface to ChatGPT, but the unique part about it is it will also give you the results here within the files. So you can imagine how this could be useful where say in a different context where maybe you're onboarding to a company, let's say, and you're tasked with building a particular feature, but you don't know where necessarily all that feature might tie in. So maybe you, you know, there's a, um, a similar component, let's say, of the feature that you have to build. And by simply querying it with natural language here, it could scan that repo and it could answer questions like, you know, consider linking it here and reference it in this API endpoint. And, you know, it's using GraphQL for, you know, uh, the, 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 um, uh, certain part of the feature that you're trying to build out. Now that's just an example, but here, so if we just ask broadly, okay, what does this repo do? So we see this repo contains the CR mixer, uh, candidate generation service for Twitter. Uh, uh, so it's designed to speed up the iteration and development of the candidate generation, et cetera, et cetera. So it's pretty, um, technical. It's not like, here's how the algorithm works and, and you know, the, the plain English for it. But if you start to ask questions uh, to the repo that might be more pertinent to, you know, we could say something like, how, how does the ranking system work in Twitter? And let's just see what we get. Now, the one thing to note with this is it it is pretty fast. That's the thing that first strike me is now, once you actually download the repo, it does take a little bit of time to index it. And I'm not sure exactly what it does under the hood, whether it sets up some sort of embeddings and, and you know, searches based on vector and the relatedness of the, the queries that you put in. 
But once you have it, uh, it's a pretty interesting thing to play around with. So I'm not gonna spend too much time here uh, showing you examples, but I just thought I'd introduce this. Um, it's a great project. Um, I've uh, really enjoyed it using it just like the past several days. And I just thought it'd be useful for others to check it out. So obviously a multitude of use cases here. You know, we can look at, uh, you know, the impression based fatigue, you know, the, our answer here, it ranks candidates based on the given weights of each algorithm while preserving like, and then just as we'll do a couple more here, let's just say how much does a re tweet weight on a post virality. Okay, so retweet based on top tweet scoring function. So this calculates the score on retweets, uh, counts in recency, it normalizes the retweet count between zero and 20. So okay, it gives you a range and it gives you a bit of a calculation on how they factor it. So like I said, not gonna give too, too many examples here, but hopefully you enjoyed this. If you do, like, comment, subscribe, and until the next one.